Let's further explore build file anatomy. Our application is too simple, right? Whether you're building a pants project written in Java, Scala, or Python, it's likely you have the concept of libraries. Libraries are collections of source files and other resources that your application depends on. Let's see how to add dependencies to our sample Python application. I guess that means we need to make Hello World a little bit more complicated. Let's make a library called Utility. And have the Utility library provide a user function to print out the currently logged in user. Conveniently, I've already got that file defined. Let's try running our application with the pant subcommand pi before we build it just to see if things worked out. Unfortunately, they didn't. We didn't tell pants to package up the utility source file along with our application. We can do that by adding an additional target to our build file. The new target is going to be a Python library. Python libraries also have names. And Python libraries, instead of having just a single source file, have sources. You can fill in sources with a list, or you can use the well-known globs and rglobs family to pick a bunch of source files all at once. Now that I have a Python library target defined, I need to add it to my dependencies of my application. Do that by adding a dependencies argument to the Python binary. The dependencies argument also takes a list, and here the easiest thing to do is to use pants to create a dependency out of my Python library. I could give it a path to a build file, or I could just give it a relative name that's assumed to be inside the current build file. Let's try running this again. We'll run the same pantspy command that I ran a moment before, but I'm going to add the dash v flag for verbose output. I did that because my command doesn't work, and if I scroll back up and look at the verbose output, I can see I actually had a little bit of trouble. Invalid syntax in my build file on line 6. The build file is just Python, so even if you're writing a Java or Scala project, you'll be writing a little bit of Python to manage it with pants. It's not too much of a problem, however, Python has reasonable syntax. Commas are required between arguments, so if I modify my build file and come and run the command again, it works successfully this time. I could build my application now, but what's kind of interesting is since I've defined an additional target, I have an additional pex I can build. I'm going to use the dash dash pex flag to the pi sub command to build instead of my application, my library. This creates another pex file in the dist subdirectory. I can run this file. It's not an application, so I won't be running a program. What it does instead is drops me into a Python REPL with all the dependencies of my application library available to me. Now that you understand how to define dependencies in your project, we can learn how to define dependencies that live outside your project, or even outside your repo.